Well, hello. My name is Buzz. I've been asked to help out with this HPT Practitioner video podcast series and help explain to people what that is. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. We follow a simple six-part script. Pretty easy. So it's uh, something you can record on your mobile camera phone or almost any video capture device so it's pretty simple introduce yourself hi my name is Buzz I live in the Midwest I'm attending a university in an ISD and HPT program I work at a lemonade stand where I am the manager of one other employee um, and um, uh, that's pretty simple. That's pretty much it. Uh, my first exposure to HPT was in an undergraduate program, and I heard some upperclassmen talking about a program that they were going to go into in a master and get a master's degree, and so I followed up with that, and that's how I got exposed to human performance technology and the program here at the university. My biggest HPT influences would have to be from this long, long reading list I was given when I first started the program, and that included people such as Bob Mager and Joe Harless and Gary Rumler and Tom Gilbert and Don Bullock and Karen Brethauer and Dale Brethauer and lots and lots and lots and lots of people from the early days of human performance technology when when they weren't even looking at the broader influences of human performance technology they were really looking at the programmed instruction and then how instruction led to performance and the other factors of performance and that's how it became HPT and so I'm learning all of that which is pretty cool um, a as a student, I've really not had, I think, a real HPT project. I've probably had projects, assignments in school that are part of HPT projects, but I've not done a full-blown project that uh, at least I wouldn't claim that. But uh, I'm learning about project planning and management. I'm learning about analysis. I'm looking at learning about design of different interventions and how to test for the integrity of the integrated design versus just the piece part designs. Very interesting stuff. Um, and I hope to have a real project here soon with an internship. Anybody got an internship out there? Or better yet, a job for me when I get out? Um, my a HPT elevator speech is that I look at things systemically and systematically to help you achieve measured results. The measurement is very important. Results, of course, is what we should be looking at uh, and trying to affect. Anyway, that's my 60, 30 second elevator speech, whatever. Um, my current and future focus for development in HPT is number one, get through my program here, get my degree, get a job, and then focus on those things that will be important to my employer and learning how to impact whatever business they are in with what I have learned about human performance technology and performance improvement. Um, of course, I hope that you can deliver things to me here on my mobile phone, my smartphone. I'm also interested in audio podcasts and things of the, that nature. Anything that I can get uh, over the net as I, as I travel between school and home and the job um, that I can get on my computer, I appreciate that. Uh, yes, I will still read books. My generation still does that on occasion. Um, but I thank you for your time in letting me share my HPT experiences with you. Um, I hope to see you out there in the job market soon. You can follow me at lessonsinmakinglemonade.blogspot.com. Thank you.